Our top story tonight, state police say an Uber driver sexually assaulted a woman early this morning on Starrow Drive along the Esplanade. The 37-year-old Waltham man is in custody charged with two counts of rape. Good evening, I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. Police tell us the woman that was attacked was treated at an area hospital. WBZ's Jim Smith is live on the Esplanade near the Hatch Shell tonight with more on the investigation. Jim. And Katie and Ken, state police are in charge of this investigation tonight, which is quite active. This Uber driver facing serious charges. Yeah, I feel like I'll just be more, even more careful than I already am. A beautiful early spring afternoon by the Charles, but police say this area was also the scene of a frightening crime very early Saturday morning. Just after 1 a.m., state police got a report that a woman had been sexually assaulted by an Uber driver. Investigators say they were told it happened on Storrow Drive near the hatch shell. The news very unsettling for anyone here who hears it, like these local college students. It's frightening because we take Ubers, you know, once or twice a week. So just thinking that, you know, that could happen to anybody is very nerve-wracking. I think it's shocking and it's just, it's really scary because we are young college students and we do take Ubers or Lyfts frequently. State police say they have arrested the driver and charged him with two counts of rape. 37-year-old Auda Mayanja of Waltham was being held on $25,000 bail. The news has rideshare customers thinking about safety when they get into a driver's vehicle. It's a free app. It's, it takes two minutes to download. That's where Ernie Corrigan comes in. He's just released a phone app called Best Rides. He says it's all about safety. So this app provides the user uh, the ability to have friends and family track their ride. And so your friends and family um, know when your ride begins, they know when it's expected to end, and they're alerted when you've arrived safely. Uber has released a statement tonight saying, what's being reported is horrible and something no one should ever go through. We stand ready to support law enforcement with their investigation. As for state police, they tell us a chemist has collected potential evidence for forensic analysis. Live here in Boston, Jim Smith, WBZ News.